Greetings everyone welcome to our channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today we are back with another instrumentation video. Topic is Raman Spectroscopy. Content which we will cover in these video are Introduction What information does it provide? Working Principle Applications So here we will start with the introduction. What is Raman Spectroscopy? Dependent on the interaction of light with a substance's chemical bonds. Produces precise data on chemical structure, polymorphism, crystallinity, and molecular dynamics. What information does Raman spectroscopy provide? It works in the same way as a chemical fingerprint. It can be compared to conventional databases, much like a human fingerprint, to quickly identify or distinguish the material. It provides details on a samples, chemical structure and properties, polymorphism and crystallinity, contaminations and defects. How does Raman spectroscopy work? To acquire Raman spectra, you just have to focus the laser onto the sample you want to investigate. That sample however, must not be showing fluorescence to the laser used for excitation. If that is the case, the fluorescence will cover most of the Raman effect, since it is so weak in comparison. After the laser light has irradiated the sample, the scattered light is passed through a filter, to get rid of any light from the excitation laser. Then it is directed onto a grating, which distributes the inelastic parts like a prism and according to wavelength. At the end these rays are directed to a CCD sensor which then outputs a spectrum depending on the intensity. Principle. It is based on the Raman scattering concept. Passes monochromatic radiation through a substance to see if it is reflected, absorbed, or dispersed. The scattered photons have a different frequency than the incident photon when the vibration and rotational properties change. This results in a wavelength shift, which is studied in the IR spectra. Application. Chemical imaging and non-destructive, microscopic, analysis. Answers qualitative and quantitative analytical questions. Trace element analysis. Explosives, pharmaceuticals, bodily fluids, blood samples, contaminants, and so on are all subjected to examination. Thank you for watching video. If you are satisfied with our content then like it and for more informative video subscribe and press on bell icon.